Welcome back to the Conspiracy Outpost. Tonight we'll be flipping through the parchment papers of one of the world's oldest undecipherable riddles. I'm of course talking about the Voynich Manuscript. I'm your host, well, just Joe today. And I'm Mike, and I'm back. At least for a little bit. He's back. Hell yeah. <laughs> But uh, I, we all know that you and uh, Casey are the same person because, uh, well, at least lately, only one of you guys are on. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that, that's my alter ego, bro. That's your alter ego. That's a, it takes so long to record these because uh, Mike yeah. has to be him and Casey at all times. Yeah, luckily this alter ego that I have, that I am currently, is much more handsome. <laughs> I don't know how it works. With the bigger does. dick, yeah. yeah. Every time he uses the Casey voice, he shrivels it up. Yeah. So <laughs> I suck I suck my beard back into my face too. It's weird and painful. And uh Matt's always been an AI. Just sometimes yeah. we sometimes we pay for a better uh, AI recording. Yeah. No, I feel like Casey's avoiding me. <laughs> like I've gotta be on, he's like, Yeah, I'm not. It's like what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, no. I got a family emergency. <laughs> We're gonna go from dynamic duo to conspiracy compadres. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's been it's it's been it's been a it's been a month, a rough month. Well, not rough. It's been a fun month, but it has been a busy, busy, fucking tiring month. Yeah, it's been crazy. I mean, these things have been um, moved around, rearranged. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised you've been getting on steadily. Yeah, it's because I don't I don't move much from my place, so it's like I'm I'm doing the same shit. Well, regardless. like like your wife. Is pretty fucking pregnant right now. It's been yeah. a while. I got three months until the date. Yeah, <laughs> so I figured that, you, that's gonna be fun. And not only figuring out because my work doesn't uh, offer uh, parental leave uh, paid, I'm trying to figure all that out, and then using my vacation time and stuff, but also um, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do the podcast. At the yeah, same time. that's uh, it's it's there's a lot of teamwork. I don't know. It's all. It's all good. So I had to wave my finger at you because you were like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, yeah, no." I, I was telling my kid. Uh, my kid was coming in here. I yeah, I love you too, baby. Uh, my my uh, Merrick was coming in here. He's going. I had to turn up the uh, the just mic. Just like his dad. Like, yeah, just like his dad. Oh, he's dad. Fucking. Now he was going full on Donnie from Wild Thorn Day. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone off Dude. yeah i don't know yeah everything's been fucking <laughs> intense but trying to make it work yeah even if we got to move things around originally tonight was about to be uh, gonna be about Dahmer and the yeah. uh, one topic yeah oh uh, yeah that's, 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 what, that's the only reason i'm here man i thought that's what we were doing <laughs> now we're doing I like talk about spirit. and i'm like oh, damn, it, damn it casey I'm in like 30 different bands now, and I have no time for anything that doesn't involve people I just, I just joined, murdering. I just joined another one last yeah. week. I got drunk and was talking to some people that I've jammed with. Now Is I'm that how most of your bands start? You, you were drunk, and then you're like, <laughs> you wake up the next day with a fucking a badass hangover and a text saying, hey, we playing in two days. Who the fuck is this? Oh, this is uh, this <laughs> no, is called Slivery Snake with all S's. Are we ready to go? You're I like, woke up, yeah. I woke up the next morning with a hangover, and he's like, "Can I pick you up in four hours?" Yeah, I woke up around no- noon, yeah. and he's like, "Can I pick you up at four? We're gonna we're gonna practice." I was like, "What?" He goes, "We're, we're gonna jam." I was like, "Dude, I'm I'm hungover. Like, I, I don't know if I can do it today." <laughs> I got practice with another band at six. He goes, "I'll have I'll have you back in time." I was like. Okay, so fine. Okay. And he goes, "Cool, I'll be What's there soon." Send me the address. And I was like, "Cause I was like just sleeping on like Aaron's couch in Chico <laughs> the yeah. night after or the morning after." So like, there I go. I go and play with one band. He gets me back by five o'clock. I pack up my drums into Nick's car and drive back down to my house and have practice at six o'clock. <laughs> Two bands. It's like what's what's his band called? Uh, octopus, uh, octopus origami yeah. orgasms. That, that was last like, Sunday. That like yeah, Work. I I had made a uh, <laughs> double book, a triple booked that day, and I was like, fuck. 
uh that me, me and my drunk drunken self making promises the night before because i was like at a show wanted to play music anytime i'm not at on stage i'm like god damn it you're the drunken drummer yeah. <laughs> the drunken jammer boy <laughs> anytime i'm not on stage i want to be on stage anytime i i get off stage i gotta clean it up you know no <laughs> <laughs> No, anytime I get off stage, I'm like, oh, I want, I, I don't want to get off stage. I want to stay up here. It's hard to to come when you're as loud as you are without music going into the background. You just gotta, oh, dude, how do you think I hit my snare drum? <laughs> Busted low. Yeah, there's <laughs> nothing but. I'm so dehydrated afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was just the sound of your pee holding out your drum set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'm always getting kidney stones. I make sure I do it. Make sure I have the kidney stones. That's how I play. It was funny because uh, Casey's brother recently went and watched uh, Civil War in IMAX. Oh, nice. And I was like, that's dope as fuck. Do you ever think that they do fucking uh, porn in IMAX? <laughs> or no, I said, I would love to see porn in IMAX because <laughs> I, I would love to hear the bane pulsate in the dick as it busts its load. <laughs> like, just... Okay, dude. So there... you said the sound was amazing as fuck in there. There's a sound that I absolutely fucking hate the sound of unless I'm doing it. It's like hearing someone else eat. And what I'm talking about is eating pussy. I hate the fucking sound of it. <laughs> I really do. It sounds just it it annoys the fuck of me. It's like someone chewing in my ear. And that's what the IMAX would do. It would be like you'd be hearing it in surround sound going, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You'd start hearing macaroni noises. You'd be like, I feel like I'm in a Yeah, cabin actually, thinking about cheese. it, it would definitely turn me off as soon as I heard pubes rubbing together. Because <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no pervert. There's got to be bush in those. <laughs> <laughs> I need proof they're adults, all right? <laughs> they gotta, there's got to be flaking bushes filled <laughs> with dandruff. <laughs> I got to know there's not a... <laughs> pre-adult oils going on there you just go in there and you're like watching it who the fuck's doing origami in here (laughs) why the fuck does it sound like a fresh bag of frida lays has just been opened in here like you know the sound of paper i mean together yeah yeah. (laughs) that's what i was thinking uh the fucking uh frito lays opening up i mean i guess that's more a plastic noise but (laughs) Who the fuck is taking a fresh sponge and scraping the the scra- the the scrub side on a countertop right now? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's honestly now I kind of want to just be like, what places, what things would have the worst three D sound? Like honestly, porn would be one of the bad ones that would have three D sound. I think, I think another one that would be terrible. You'd be would be hearing like, him whisper to the girl. Sorry, did you get the angle right? I think another one that would be absolutely terrible in th- with 3D sound would be uh, motocross <laughs> or NASCAR. <laughs> you're just here. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you just put earplugs in, like you're there. You're like, God, I got a fucking headache. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear that. It's like, and here he goes over the jump. <laughs> ah, fuck my knee, <laughs> dude. That football, if like everyone was mic'd up, would be the most fucking annoying and hilarious thing to listen to ever. Like, because oh, you, probably... you you do hear it occasionally. You hear the line. It's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you titty at my chin. <laughs> Yeah, like NFL mic'd up is actually really funny. You should look it up sometime. There's some funny shit said. Oh, dude, there's these. Oh man. Oh shit. Uh, so Matt told me to invite you, but one of these days I'm gonna invite Aaron down from Chico down to my house because there's a Bray Wyatt documentary. Oh, on Paramount. I know. I want to watch that. Peacock. Uh, now I'm not like the greatest wrestling fan, like one of the hardcore ones or whatever, but I like dabbled in it here and there for like years. And Bray Wyatt was legit. My favorite He's what kept me on the thing. And I literally got Peacock when I got Peacock. I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get back into wrestling. And then not too long after that, it's like, Oh, he died. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? He, he died like a year ago. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's when I got Peacock and I was like, what the fuck? La- I played a year. I I played a show the day after he died, and Dude, uh, Aaron, little... Aaron dedicated the show to him. Oh, that's dope as fuck. Uh, he 
Because we, like, in that band, that we have a heavy, good. like, uh, wrestling theme in it, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, that, that's one of the things that I love about that. And the skits, they feel very uh, wrestling-oriented. Yeah. They don't, I, I don't want to say they have, like, like a corny thing, but they have, like, that stage show prep. Uh, oh, prefer- yeah, yeah. Uh, that, doesn't do that, them. that is something with that band in particular yeah. that we, we try to do. It is not necessarily it's not a, a music yeah. show. It's just a show. It's a show, and it, and I enjoy that because um, a lot of people usually get their – do their sets, pump you up a little bit, and get out. Uh, you guys have, like, a little show, and it's, it's entertaining. Like, it, yeah. it's entertaining to watch, and you, it pumped. Like, and uh, I don't remember any of your guys' songs but the Sex Machine song, but I, I know oh, I'm always – Our Fuck Machine? Yeah, Fuck Machine. That's what yeah. it is, the, the Fuck Machine song. Well, because we're, we're playing all the Asia shows. We just call it Past Powered Love Machine. Ah, uh, Okay. Yeah, we still we're still talk about you know That's being dope. powered by beer, but yeah, it's love machine instead of fuck machine. Mm. To be fair, their parents are all all, all drinking while they're there. there. Yeah, oh, we should probably get into this. I didn't realize. Yeah, it. probably. <laughs> we, we we done been in for eleven minutes, and we only we said the title. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. <clears throat> what are we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> I have no notes. No, Vo- the Vlinish. Voynich. Voynich. So, Voynich? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds German. I believe it's Voynich. Uh, the Voynich manuscript is an ancient, mysterious manuscript filled with unknown illustrations and undeciphered texts in a language known, known, in a language none have ever seen before. Due to this language or co... Oh, man. Sorry. You guys? I've been drinking. <laughs> That's not an excuse. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, due to this, the language or code was given the name Voynichese, which for some reason gives off a racist tone. <laughs> like it really does. Uh, it be- because so because it, Voynich, and nobody could decipher the code. A lot of people call it Voynichese uh, language, which it sounds like a really bad cheese or a, a really racist way to say Chinese or something. Why? I don't know. It, it does to me. I don't know. <laughs> there, there's other languages that has e's in it, like Portuguese. Ah oh, man, see now I sound like a racist. Yeah, and I just put people. that out there. And, and dude, the, dude, <laughs> the, the, the Chinese people speak Cantonese and Mandarin. They do, and yeah. oh, that oh, is so fun. I said that. <laughs> Holy shit, that that is so fucked up. Yeah. Hey, I know the things. All right, there's Mandarin, there's Cantonese, and Cantonese is the one they. Don't normally speak anymore, right? I think so. Yeah, I think they. Must yeah, Mandar- Mandarin. Mandarin is. Again, the most I, I'm, I'm a dumb American, so. I'm pretty sure Mandarin is the most common one. Because that's what I speak is dumb American. Oh, I do too, yeah. and it's the most broken uh, English there is. You got British English, which sounds ridiculous, and then you got American English, which has too many fucking rules, and it's ridiculous itself. And it's, and it's like. But at least crook, uh, at least <laughs> the, the crooked teeth people that are uh, speaking it are usually on methamphetamine and not just born that way. Something that I, <laughs> that I find interesting is like in America there there is regional dialects, um, but America is a really big fucking place, which is like it makes sense that way because the regional regions are far apart. But then you have regional dialects in England, and that's not a very big place. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's fucking. Like, I understand Ireland and Scotland, but like, like, like the rest of them, I don't. Not, not too much. Can I get with? Uh, Can get a lot of hate for that, but. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> How many people really listen over there? That's not used, uh, and most people that says is listening over there is probably using a VPN thing. VPN yeah. scramble. I mean, I don't dislike the accents. I'm just like, huh. But like, I'm oh. guessing a lot of these regional dialects were were adapted. Um, a very long time ago. Well, I'm and... gonna tell you right now. You know what one accent I can't fucking stand is, uh, the one uh, woman from uh, Misfits, the oh, one character, the one with yeah, the hair pulled I, back uh, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what her accent's called. Yeah, but she's got that fucking accent. You can't understand what the fuck she's saying. Kind of accent. Yeah, that's. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know the. <laughs> Again, I don't I don't know what each dialect sounds like. I just <laughs> I know there's different ones. Yeah. Like, you know what you know what that one sounds yeah. like. Like dude, one of my favorites <laughs> is fucking John Boega's in Attack the Block. Do you remember uh, that movie with Nick Frost? I don't know. It's like aliens, they attack the hood. 
in England. Oh, I've never seen it. Dude, it's it's fucking good. But yeah, that, like, that, uh, that, that, like, that like fucking amazing. That kind of like like hood English accent. I actually think I love Nick, it, dude. <laughs> Nick, Frost, Nick Frost is a lot funnier than um Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg, I think. I so. don't think so. I think I, I like Simon Pegg better. Maybe because. But then again, mm. like my favorite, my favorite movie by them is Hot Fuzz, and Simon Hot Pegg Fuzz is, is hilarious. Is, Actually, you know what? I think I'm only thinking that because uh, because um, End of the Badlands because oh, Nick Frost yeah. is in that. Yeah. Nick Frost is hilarious. I forget. I, I thought I forgot all about that movie. That cop movie because yeah, I'm, going, I'm going off of like the of, Meadow trilogy. So. Yeah, yeah, because Nick Frost is funny in that, but he's not like that funny because he. He's more innocent than he is fucking yeah. whatever. What well, what is the thing they keep chanting? And then he's like, like what is it? Protect the something or some shit? I can't remember. That, for the greater good or something. Like for that. the greater good. And then it was just like I remember that that point I was pissed off, but I didn't know he was fucking whatever. But yeah, he's too innocent in yeah. that movie. He is kind of the yeah. I think I'm just thinking of End of the Badlands that I like. Probably. More. Yeah, because he's funny as fuck in that, and he like basically portrays like Pigsy. Uh, fr- um, or Jubaji from like um, uh, Journey yeah. to the West, pretty mm-hmm. much is like what his character is, but like its own take. Yeah, but uh, yeah, back to uh, Voynich. I know the Voynich. Uh, the name Voynich derives from Wilfred Voynich, a bookseller who purchased the book back in 1912. Since oh, it's just not even uh, his. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. He purchased it. Yeah, so he's just like, huh, squiggles. I'm going to name this. <laughs> uh, I think people started popularly calling it that when it started breaking out, but I'm not sure. Maybe he coined it. I don't know. Uh, since its discovery, scholars and scientists alike have attempted to dis- decipher the text, including cryptographers and code breakers from both World War One and Two. None were successful. They've even ran it through Dude, AI and got nothing in modern day. Like they couldn't find out. They couldn't decipher a single word. I, I wonder if that guy who built the uh, the Enigma machine uh, t- got to take a look at this. What what's his name? Alan um... Iverson. Okay. No, no. Um... <laughs> Why was that the first I went to? I ain't a sports person. No, it's um... fuck. He was played by Benedict Cumberbatch in a movie about him. He's a, he was a, a a gay code breaker in World War II, and he broke the Enigma machine, uh, which was the the code that the Nazis used. Did you say a gate or a gay code breaker? Gay code breaker. Ah. Uh, I I I say that because it is relevant for his history. They chemically castrated him, even though he did a bunch for them during the war, which is fucked. Just up. because he was gay, that yeah. is fucked up. Yeah. After the war, they chemically castrated him. Dude, you have to watch Brian Simpson's uh, comedy special on Netflix. He has this whole fucking thing which is hilarious where he's like, every guy is at least f- at least 5% gay. And he goes on his whole fucking rant. It's hella funny because he's like, I'm not one of those comedians you can leave here with. I was explaining it uh, last time with Casey. But it's hella funny. And he was like, if you want to take anything from tonight, I'm just going to say, Everybody here is gay. And then he just goes off about this, how all guys are at least 5% gay. There's no one that's, or some shit well, like that. Well, when I'm around you guys, the number goes up. It does, definitely. And, and, and that's so only least, because y'all just molest me. Yeah, and mine goes at least 25 to 30%. Yeah, like, if Casey's <laughs> around, I am just being molested. Um. <laughs> Casey's 100% 60% gay but yeah. it's okay there's no judgment going Dude, but when he's drinking it goes to 65% and uh, you need that extra about 60% is like kind of whatever 65 is when it's straight it, it, it's, it's, a it's, it's a spectrum it's a spectrum yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> that's, what, oh, and that's what Brian Simpson said which is hilarious he's like before we thought that uh, it was a on and off switch. Now we know, you know, it's a it's a wheel or, or some shit. It's like, you know, it's yeah. a spectrum. Like it's like you crank it like back and forth. It's not like a up and down. I don't know. I, I'm butchering it and I'm probably saying the wrong thing, but it's yeah, hilarious. Like, <laughs> the dude's hella uh, funny. Yeah, hold on. Let me look up the Enigma machine real quick. Sorry, right. I got on my phone earlier because one of the bands I'm in was asking if I could do a show on June 8th. So I had to check my planner. <laughs> Some fancy like that. 
Um, but yeah, Planner, which is, it's book solid with dick drawings. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the, the Enigma machine, which broke the Enigma code. Um, let's see. Alan Turing. Alan Turing. Yeah, okay, so the Enigma Code was first broken by the, by the Poles under the leadership of mathematician Marian Rajewski in the early 1930s. In 1939, with growing likelihood of a German invasion, the Poles turned their information over to the British, who set up a secret code-breaking group known as Ultra under the mathematician Alan M. Turing. So, I wonder if he, Alan M. Turing, looked at this code. Or looked at this uh, Voynich shit. He might have. Um... It kind of plays in the next part uh, timeline wise. The only thing that is known is that it was radiocarbon dated to the early 15th century, which would put its creation between the years 1404 to 1438. So, I mean, that was way before. So, I mean, he definitely could have taken a crack at it. Yeah. Uh, radiocarbon. Right, that's funny. He probably took a crack at a lot of cracks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that's, crack, crack. that's why he was. Uh, uh, fucking Kevin the Castrate, he was uh, found guilty of sodomy. The only thing I can't understand about gay people, or at least what people um, portray gay people, is a top or bottom. Because I'm telling you right now, if I'm gay, I would probably do both. I'd be a top and a bottom. I'd be a totem. I would just go around or a totem. And some days I'd want I, I'd like to reverse. Totem <laughs> I'd like an in and out of both. All right. God it's damn. one thing you can't understand. It's like I'd be doing it all. I'd be Amy Dick. <laughs> Amy <laughs> Dick Strips. <laughs> Dick Strips. <laughs> of it all, dude. You take, give it to it. Ask and you shall receive. Give and you shall receive. Uh, you know, don't, or whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah. Is that what I'm saying? I want it all, baby. Uh, Radio carbon dating or carbon 14 dating is a scientific method that accurately determines the age of organic materials as old as 60,000 years. So it's very fucking accurate. They're reading on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They figure out the half life on it by testing the carbon or whatever. And then, yeah. They're like, yep, confirms it. It's old as shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's how. Like, I've seen some shit where uh, some scientists have shut down, like, um, <laughs> fucking some people who don't believe in evolution or when the the fucking how the universe was made or whatever. Um, because the scientists that'd be like the element like uh, plutonium or something has a half life of like a billion fucking years. The fact that it exists means <laughs> that you you know like shit like that. Mm. People are. Um... I don't know. Those those numbers were not accurate, but like that situation they've used. Yeah, no, and people don't fucking. I just think of the Family Guy thing. The Jesusaurus Rex. <laughs> the Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's believed to have been written in Italy during the Italian Renaissance by stylistic analysts. Anil anal yeah, you... Analyticists? Uh, I don't know. And uh, yeah, that's the word. Uh, this apple for local people who there. people who do analytics. Analytics. Uh, <laughs> the manuscript measures at 22.5 by 16 centimeters or 8.9 by 6.3 inches. And has 102 heavily illustrated parchment folios. Parchment for those uncultured swine like myself is processed animal skins that used to be used for writing material. Oh, shit. So they weren't even using papyrus at this point. Yeah, they were using... Uh, oh, I forget the fucking word. I think it started with a V. I should have wrote it down. Voynich. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Vim or Vettler. I think it, it may not have. Uh, invented in the second... It was like a weird word I never heard before, but it, it was mainly uh, calf skin and shit like that. It was mainly of cows and other shit like oh, that. Oh, shit. I know. Um, vampires. Vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I had to make Vagina. a joke. Uh, invented in the second century BC, in the latter years of the second century BC, porn stenographers would write down their steamy sex stories on the skin of an elderly lady's elongated breast skin called. Oh, my God. <laughs> Called tit skits. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Yeah, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, the, the, the Voynich Manuscripts consists of about 240 pages, though it is believed that many pages are missing. Unofficially, it has been divided into six sections based off its illustrations. Oh, so it's the not six a, a picture book. Yeah, well, um, with the illustrations, and it also, based off its illustrations, th that they can kind of decipher what they think it is, but there are texts surrounding all these pictures, too. Like, they have texts around the pictures, but what they believe from the pictures, what, th what they can make of, though none of it is actually proven. Uh, the six of these being botany, astrology, and astronomy, which is together, uh, biology, cosmology, pharmaceutical, and miscellaneous texts, or according to Britannica.com, a bunch of texts with short entries that resemble cooking recipes being jotted down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, it's not just that website. They're saying what I mean. They're saying what people believe because they're like short texts, like listed, bolted. Mm -hmm. Not really bolted, but they're like it's almost like they were jotting down recipes to shit. Dude, I'm start I'm starting a recipe book right now. Um, Are you? Yeah, my problem is is I don't measure anything while I cook, but I want to measure. I want to like write down my recipes, so I gotta start like doing my eyeball but measuring it into something. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like dude, if I get a scale, I'll probably be able to do it fucking perfect. <laughs> You're just like and add an and add enough paprika that that I don't know seems right, dude. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's like that. seems right, take, and then, and the seems right take instead take of your like food, motherfucker. It's, just, it's like uh, add a, add about <laughs> sr amount uh, add paprika about one sr seems right. Yeah. <laughs> dude, like no, but I want to write it down so that um. Cause, cause like people ask me like, so, like my sisters mostly ask me how to make some shit that I, that I've made. And it's like, it'd be cool if I could just take a picture of my recipe out of my folder and just fucking send it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Other than just the, the wide spectrum of, yeah. So I want you to take some cumin and, uh, put about an FI amount in it. What's an FI measurement? Fuck it. Unit. Just put that shit in there. Just like, fuck it. Just drop that bitch in there. I like yes. cumin. cumin. You like smell. cumin? Yeah, it smells. The smell of it is like a, a light s sniff of sweat to me. What fucking cumin are you buying, dude? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, obviously, uh, the great value brand at Walmart. <laughs> dude. I'm just kidding. No, I don't know. I got a weird sense of shit, dude. I I do not have a sophisticated palate. Everything reminds me of grimy shit. Dude, so, <laughs> so I have like two carne asada recipes that I, I could give you, but uh, like both have cumin in it because I cumin, love cumin is yeah. what makes shit taste like tacos. Cumin does and it. chili, exactly, <laughs> and all sorts of stuff. And honestly, like I don't <laughs> like right, I don't in, I do not, not like I don't like taco seasoning packets because my mom would put that in everything, including spaghetti. There's there's a and I refuse there's a lot of it. shit added to that. There's ver various like uh, dried tomato powders and shit like that. Um, I like if I make chili or anything like that, I just do everything myself. Mm. And I don't use chili powder; I use dried chilies and shit. But like with cumin, um, <laughs> like I said, I have two carne asada recipes: one from a white person, one from my grandma who's Mexican. And and they taste completely different, but they both work really fucking good. Damn. So though it's widely up for debate on any of these subjects or sections by scholars and cryptographers alike, we are still going to go over them by these categories. So here we go. You ever heard of hate fucking? <laughs> no, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm a big fan of it. No, just... no, go ahead. <laughs> um. I don't even know if I read that in the right spot there. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Here we go. Uh, first up is botany. This is said to be the largest section of the manuscript with 113 pages in total. That's a lot of fucking pages. Botanicals. Botanicals. Uh, For all those who like their plants and teas. And eggplants. Yeah. Uh, 
These botanical drawings de uh, depict various plants, many among them being unidentifiable or fantasy-like in nature, with text written around the images. Though these huh. resemble known plants, though some resemble known plant species, a lot of strange <laughs> unknown fruits attach to them. Usually, <laughs> an intertwining of stems and leaves or strange rooting systems. Or at least strange to me. One looked like it had a row of anal beads looping underneath. <laughs> <the floor>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious though. Look here. I'm okay. This is one of the pictures I was talking about. I you saved a lot of these it pictures. or you'd show me on your screen. Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna send it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I should have sent all of these while doing it, but this shit is so fucking funny. Um. God damn it. Dude, what if this guy, whoever did this, was just tripping balls one day? It might have been. It's you know? just hilarious that he's just making. Um... To which, if people be like, "Oh, you don't, you're not gonna do that weird of shit where you make up a fucking thing and do that while you're tripping balls," listen to like some of the Beatles shit when they were on LSD. You can be too creative. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I am waiting. It's asking for fucking permissions, which I don't appreciate. All right, there we go. This picture. Look at the uh, the rooting system. It looks like anal beads. Yeah. Or like weird rooted anal beads. It makes no Okay, sense. so the bottom of it looks like a lotus flower that turns into what looks like a stem of ginger and then anal beads. <laughs> and, just, the, and then the top of it looks like wheat and then fucking blueberry bush yes <laughs> it's weird shit <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that looks like that looks like a lotus uh, root uh, plant and a ginger root plant and then anal beads <laughs> it does like it's fucking weird looking I mean I know the description it's... I've seen some of this shit similar up top <laughs> I ain't never seen an anal bead root system that is just <laughs> going around. You may have seen a dragonfly. You may even see a superfly. You, <laughs> but you never seen it, a donkey fly. I think it absorbs <laughs> nutrients from the lower intestine. I think it's how that works. Yeah, it kind of looks like yeah, because like those could be like like beans, peas, or those could be openings to tubes on that thing on the bottom. You know. It could be. Uh, ready to sprout other fucking things. I don't know. It's really fucking weird. Um, the realistic and surreal artistic style of these um, depictions is one of the many things that contribute to the manuscript's allure. Like, people really, I don't know, they're really into these pictures. I mean, I would too if it looked like anal beads. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Next up, we got the astronomy and astrology end of things with illustrations of astrological diagrams and other whatnots. The codex included whoosie what's his uh, and galore. Um, yeah, so the codex included complex diagrams of circular arrangement with lines, symbols, and text that resembled celestial charts or star maps. Some of these resembled traditional celestial maps, while others contain unique symbols and configurations never seen seen in other known astronomical works. Huh. That's um I don't know what to say to that. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty weird. I mean that that's what it starts making. So again, it feel I'm like, weird. this could be like a really smart person tripping balls. Could be. It, something alien in nature. High off something. I, like, I, after <laughs> seeing that like diagram, I don't think this is a kid's drawing anymore. Yeah, see, like, that, when, you, when you described it earlier, it's like, so it's fucking kids' doodles, and they're like, what the fuck is this? Oh uh, man, I've uh, seen so many fucking weird pictures from this. I was just like scrolling through them. Uh, it's believed by some researchers that these drawings are actually concepts or astronomical observations from an unknown civilization. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, that's what it. it that, that's what people think it might be alien. I couldn't find a lot on that. Uh, on the basic bitch astrological science side of things, there's what looks to be drawings that look a lot like the zodiac symbols, 
Though there's no definitive way to tell due to the lack of deciphered interpretation. I'm, I mean, any any civilization that has studied the stars is going to have uh, at least things that are close to, to our zodiac symbols because our zodiac symbols are based off of star formations. They are. Uh, so, these right. ones seem. Um, these ones seem a lot like the Chinese zodiac. Zodiac, at least two of them, I've seen. Uh, the resemblance. Yeah, are, it, it, uh, it comes. Right. It comes down to um, interpretation of the dots. So it's like, yeah. you, could, you know, where we have Sagittarius, someone could be like, "That's a fucking mug of beer," or something. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I was born under the beer. I was born under the slapping wife across the face with the resemblance yeah. of Sean Connery. Uh, I just I was born on the side of Sean Connery. Yeah, like uh, the the little dipper and big dipper. It's like look at those meth pipes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, they're loaded with all sorts of shit you can't get without sucking a dick. Uh, <laughs> so they they resembled a lot of it. Kind of um, whoever created this manuscript of mysteries decided their zodiac would be way sicker. Each sign has a page where they're at the nucleus of what appears to be women of all breast sizes, rotating in straw-woven baskets in a circular motion. Tell me when you were born, and I'll tell you which sign you were born under and what bitch in a basket your star is aligned with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that's what's funny. It, it, I only seen uh, these fish that look like Pisces and a goat-looking thing. God damn it. I fucking exit out of it again. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the goat thing would be like Virgo or something, right? Yeah, the shit. <laughs> let me find the. Let no, me find no, the I don't. Link. I don't know star signs very well. I don't. I only know these zodiac. Uh, zodiac, and then this one wasn't really zodiac. The other one, but look at this one. It's crazy. Look at all these bitches in the baskets around it. You well, I guess there's see. other ones. Wait, did I send it? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, it looks like, and then the other ones look like weird mixes in the inner circle. Look like weird mixes of fucking. Um, Mer- so like the the, the, basket women. there's like titties mermaids but like, yeah. and, and then and then there's like fish fish <laughs> like no that's what it is it's it's and that's what and then there's one but it's all that but then it's a goat in the middle we're Dude, the only the one like, look like women bathing it doesn't look like they're carrying baskets it looks like they're in the basket so bathing yeah women, and then the See, I was picturing it like fucking they were going Those down. Mermaids. Like, Those, they're, they're, for some reason, the fucking baskets tipped over now, and they're like <laughs> crawling with the while they're in the basket, they drop, and then while they're letting stars out. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> bathing woman, woman transforming into fish. That's what, <laughs> that's what I see, dude. That's what I see. Oh shit, they're evolving. Yeah, and I, I didn't it? have. You see it now. They are. Oh shit, they are. They look. They, oh shit, I didn't notice that the scales are on the baskets. Yeah. Holy shit! I didn't even see that before. Yeah. <laughs> These bitches evolved into baskets. Damn, that's unfortunate. Yeah, and they're like holding stars. <laughs> they're like holding starfish. Oh man, they're about to get their like uh their 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 cups. That's what they're doing. It's cup size. They for mermaids. <laughs> Some get starfish, some get seashells, man. Seashell, Lucky starfish. Seashore. <laughs> um, this was another one. No, those too. look like some ugly broads, though. They are. <laughs> this one looks weird. It looks like they're all fucking get ready to high five each other. Dude, it kind of looks like a fucking swastika. A <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> little bit, a little bit. And I think this one might be a part of that same thing. This might be a part of a different cycle. It's got stars and everything aligning in a weird circle. It, lo- it looks like a, a decoder, kind of. It's weird. I mean, th- these pictures are fucking weird. There's a lot of weird-ass ones. Yeah, so there's like a it's flower cloud, cloud in the middle order. with everybody surrounding around it, either making like trying to do high fives or like making a swastika type thing. Yeah. It's fucking, it's weird. Uh, the, the pictures, they don't seem like somebody was just bullshitting, but maybe. I don't know. I mean, a lot of it just seems like bullshit. But, um, yeah, I don't I don't know what everything that resem- resembled. Oh, you sent another one. Okay, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's, <laughs> I sent okay. another fucking. So we got some, like, spiral of words inside of, like, a fucking powerhouse of the cell. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, it, it reminded me of those weird <laughs> fucking stars that people do for the NorCal symbol. Like, it's got the weird oh, yeah. Fucking, like, di- yeah, weird. It's a, it's a fu- so we have a Pokeball, is what we have right here. <laughs> um, or some the kind of aperture ball lens. Pokeball. Uh, with, a, with a germ in the middle. Like, does that not look like a fucking germ? 
It does. Or, or it, like a cell, it, kind of. And that's um, a weird thing. They they had a bunch of shit like that. And then we got a flower separated by words and a bunch of stars. And then we have what looks to be the sun with a bunch that of flower looks, words. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is, flower looks that dope is the sun. Fun. Yeah, and I think each one of these represent maybe a different constellation. Of the oh, dude, no. The first one's a, a drawing because they're like fans of James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks like the scope of the James Bond thing. With the, the sniper scope. <laughs> the rifled barrel of the gun. Oh, fuck. That's hella funny. Yeah, but... Yeah, dude, <laughs> <laughs> um... So, I mean, I've always been more of a Chinese Zodiac guy myself. Um, so I don't really know much of the other shit. I did write down um, that the Chinese Zodiac can be traced to the exact year it was created, but it uh, can't be traced to the exact year it was created, obviously, but can be traced back to between 206 BC and 9 AD. According to astrophysicists of modern time, the other Zodiac, the one with the Geminis and Libras and all that, can be mm-hmm. traced back to between 409 and 398 BC. I, I, I'm not good with the AC, BC. I know one goes backwards, one goes forward. Yeah. So I can't tell if if the uh, carbon dating of this manuscript is before both of these or during. What, what were the dates? Uh, Chinese Zodiac is 206 BC, between 206 BC and 9 AD. And the uh, the other zodiac can be traced between 409 and 398 BC, whereas our uh, pretty little the regular dates back further. Oh, okay. Because one one BC, 15th century was the manual and stuff, so I, that that's actually way yeah one one BC yeah, and mind. one AD are like two years apart. Okay, and never mind because I was thinking the other one was different. It's 15th century. That was way after these things. I don't know. Um, where was I at here? I'm going to go pee again real quick. I'm drinking way too much. Take me like two seconds. Okay. Super interesting what the uh, timelines are. I guess, I guess people will learn. Um, so time to delve into some weird biological sketches. Yeah. So the Voynich manuscript. Send me more pictures, or yeah, I will. Okay. Um, <laughs> Just let me know when you send them. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Voynich manuscript is many biological sketches, including some illustrating human-like figures, often in scenes where they are bathing or swimming. Like some... like that one fucking with all the the women. The women, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, they are sometimes surrounded by what looks like pipes or tubes along with various mysterious symbols and objects and text there's text everywhere uh, now this sounds less weird than what it seems but if you were to see the picture you'd, you'd think differently um, one picture looks like one perverted pipe system showing what looks like women on a multi-story tree pipe fountain showering and passing down their bath water to one sick freak chilling on <laughs> chilling on a log in a pond. Oh, I'll, oh, I'll yeah, send that yeah, one right now. Send it before. <laughs> I'll send that shit. <laughs> oh, where the fuck is it? Oh, oh, there it is. This shit is funny as fuck looking. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> the, writing, the writing looks like fucking like elvish. <laughs> it's a, it doesn't look real. I've seen um so I've seen little uh little comic strips people have made about this. Talking about it's like it's not the first time ridiculous stuff has been made, whatever. And then they were talking about D D afterwards, which I thought was hilarious. Dude, this is like this illustration is pretty much like shit flows downhill. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so funny. I thought it was funny. It's like, okay, so this first woman is washing her hands in this weird tree pipe. It's going down to another woman doing it. And then two more women. And then two other women who are, like, stomping it down. And then it just goes down into this pond where this guy's just up against a log. Like, ah. 
Oh, that's oh, that is long. I didn't see the circles at the end. <laughs> that's what it's a fucking log. He's just chilling on a log. It's just like what the fuck? Who created this fucking weird contraption? Doctor Seuss. It looks like it looks like it's like someone's like, hey, you want to know an effective way of bathing? Make sure that all these women are bathing, and then this man's at the bottom, right? <laughs> it's gonna be fucking awesome. Lit. <laughs> So now, now what I see are perverted Rube Goldberg machines, but others see past my warped Rorschachs and speculate these sketches represent alchemical or medicinal practices. Others believe these to be mythical or symbolic figures. Regardless, oh fuck! Like, dude, honestly, that one. Yeah, I don't know. That one's just. It just seems like shit rolls downhill, man. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, regardless of what you think, uh, misophiliacs call it an aphrodisiac. Uh, misophiliacs are people that are attracted to, like dirt and shit. You know, for being a long time ago, none of these women have none of these women have bush. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Which leads me to believe that this is more per- <laughs> more pedophilic. Uh, pedophilia. Uh, I can't even think of a word for it. I'd be uh, disgusting. Yeah. In a different way is what I'm trying to say, or that, or people are still thinking the ideal, whatever, like porn shit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess that kind of ties into this fourth installment, which is pharmaceutical in nature. The pharmaceutical section of the manuscript show. Oh my god, my notes keep fucking exiting out. No. No, I need you. I don't memorize words written. (laughs) Ah, It's a cheap man's game. Uh, The pharmaceutical section of the manuscript shows text and illustrations relating to what appears to be medicine. Obviously. Uh, Medicine, herbs, and once again, possibly alchemy. That plays a big part in a lot of this. Uh, with drawings depicting things like plants, jars, vessels, and human figures engaged in activities that may be medicinal in nature. <laughs> <laughs> may be medicinal in nature. Like, I, don't, I don't think shoving, um, you know, shit up your ass is very medicinal. <laughs> I don't see the medicinal shit in that, but... It's like, no, you don't understand. It's a parsnip. It gets rid of demons. It's like, uh, <laughs> no, you're supposed to put that in soup. And please don't put that in soup. Throw that away. <laughs> well, I just wear uh, plants they're describing are actually people drawing dicks with four leaf clovers in them. <laughs> and they're just like, it brings you luck for fertility. Oh, thanks, Doc. Um, yeah. I didn't save any uh, images for this one. Oh. I wish I did. Uh, I, I gone through a lot of them, and I can't tell the specifics of them because they're like really, uh, they kind of fall under the uh, botanical ones to me. They were like a bunch of weird pictures. It was just a bunch of fucking plants. Okay. I mean, it with pots and other shit, so it wasn't yeah, like none of it. You like, see uh, one and go, "Hey, that's a poppy flower." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I looked at a lot, and I saved my favorites. <laughs> so um. There's a bunch of pictures of mushrooms. It's like, I get it now. <laughs> I understand what's going on here. I really hope they had something similar to Desmodivines in these little pictures. Huh. <laughs> Does matter? Sense. What's the matter with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say, those of you that don't know what Desmodivines are, why don't you listen to Conspiracy Outpost Presents The Fall of Medinvard for clarification. All right? We got a nice D&D podcast. You guys are uh, sleeping on right now. Get out there. Is this as modifies that make you hallucinate? I don't think it is. Oh, no. You know what? That's a uh, Malfora. Yeah, Malfora. There you go. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, yeah, you guys would get that clarification, too. The, get out there, brother. Death modifies are used, the they extract them are used for um, in the process of scarification. Yeah, modifying monks to be at the utmost. Dopeness of the dopity. Yep. Hey, I have some uh, tidbits about monks towards the end of this too. Well, let's get to it. All right. So well, <laughs> let's get to the rest here. Uh, it's believed to be. Um, it's believed that this part of the um, of the manuscript is a, a, conven- a 
compendium of herbal remedies or a guide to alchemical processes. I got the walk two of the Walking Dead compendiums. They're pretty dope. Dude, and I knew as soon as I wrote Compendium earlier that you and me were going to talk about comics. I wish oh, yeah. I had the yeah, boys yeah. one. <laughs> I really wish that I had the boys one, the Walking Dead one, and Preacher. I have some Preacher uh, I, comics. I have the I have all the Preacher books if you want to borrow sometime. Yeah, and, I, and I got some of them. I think I got my favorite one. Uh, Wesley bought me one because we were at a comic book store where I was talking. Well, he bought me all of these. Yeah. Um, but uh, the one that he bought me was the Lonely, not the Lonely Tower. That's from our podcast again, Conspiracy Outpost yeah. presents. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was the uh, the Stephen King book because he said, oh the Dark Tower, yeah the Dark Tower because he said not the book but the comic itself was based off of the work of Garth Ennis and Preacher, uh, based off of the Saint of Killers. The comic was oh nice. Book. Yeah, they that. based that off. Not the book itself, I don't think. So but the yeah, way they went about the comic book. Yeah. And so Wesley bought me that. And that's like, that's dope as fuck. I need I, to read that because that's not the only... Preacher I've read about three fucking times. Three yeah, I, I have all the Preacher books on my shelf. I have, also have all the Walking Dude, Dead on my and shelf. And I know there's some shit that is, um, you know, that is kind of... It's of its era, whatever. But for the most part, oh, you can glorious, skip... Though. Yeah. If you skip past it, you know, most of it is. I don't skip past any of it. I just go. <laughs> no, I mean, not, don't skip it, but I mean, yeah. uh, if people uh, take it with a grain of salt. Like, if they read I mean, it. that's what I do. I read it. I go, damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no, no, dude. <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been, yeah, be, I've been rewatching. Oh, man, I sent this on Snapchat. I've been rewatching fucking uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. And my God, dude, back then I would laugh at certain things that I'd cringe at now. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's, not it, just it's like, like that part and always somebody's like, oh my god, that is disgusting. Where can I find that? <laughs> oh yeah, that, that thing. I still say that joke nowadays with stuff um, with with Mac and the, the, the so porn know, thing. So I know how to avoid it. Yeah. Um, but the thing I'm talking about that I was like, what the fuck? Because I watched recently mm-hmm. but I was like, dude, this used to make me bust up laughing. I, I'm not afraid of it. <laughs> but uh <laughs> Uh yeah yeah I still do to be honest but I mean taboo things uh it was when they were talking about the wine and it uh it's always sunny in Philadelphia when they get the the person that writes a review about the restaurant and the guy asked for wine and what D said to him oh yeah didn't she uh yeah. she call- calls um <laughs> yeah uh, uh, a homophobic word but it's it, it caught me off guard. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Dude, it's like watching older South Park. They, 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 they say a lot of stuff where it's like you can't say that now. Yeah, you can't. People get people get really mad at that. Yeah, and it's like it's weird. Dude, the, I fir- mean, the first the first time episode. where where it, there wasn't. I I will admit, back in the day, there was a time where it was really fucking homophobic and whatever, where people were like really touchy about the shit. But nowadays, it's not. I don't know. I've never been like fucking. I mean, what people would be literally kind of not afraid but but whatever it's like ew i'm not gay like whatever that it's like i don't know i laugh at this shit but i mean i say and do like borderline gay shit all the time oh yeah no, like, like everyone in our group of friends does yeah we do like and it's like it's not and what people if people back then would see that shit they're like ew that's fucking gay blah blah blah, blah. and then it's it's like to us, and it's still funny. No, then, dude, this, this funny. shit, you're, damn you're, right, you're, it's you're, you're, you're wrong. Scared. You're wrong there. This shit has been said for years. Like, my my dad said this kind of stuff on the job. The stuff we say, my dad said on the job site. Yeah, I, I mean, we I used to do, we used to do jokes like this all the time, but I used to have people. I don't know, going to school, people would make dirty ass like yeah, give dirty ass looks it, like it's just you whatever, and it's like, like dude. School is- it's di- it was different yeah. than when you get out of school. But like I remember my dad joking around uh um with some of his, his coworkers on, on the job site, you know, for the same way we would like we're joking that he's gonna fuck them or vice versa. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um And that that's just how, how it was. And that like that's how fucking we joke around too. It it is. And I mean yeah, I, we used to joke around about the shit for fucking ever. Yeah, I wish we make it a lot longer or a lot 
a long time ago with things. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we, we yeah, we've been doing this shit forever. But people would like always. I mean, there'd be people that would laugh and do whatever. There'd there, be there's some people that just aren't comfortable with it. That's all. Yeah, they're not comfortable with shit that's outside of their sexuality, and it's like you know, and that's fine. I mean, I I'm not gay per se outside of my uh, comical. <laughs> but I, I i'm comfortable enough with my sexuality to know that it's it, it's not a life-threatening fucking thing to make gay jokes yeah i don't know um yeah your sense of humor is gayer than like three dudes walking in 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 step with each other <laughs> each other's ass. Let me tell you, I'm one of. The, I would be the fourth dude behind them, <laughs> swinging mine while singing. Yeah, I, I, I got something in my front pocket for you. Have you ever heard heard that fucking Tom Secura joke where he's like, "You can't say something's gay as in lame anymore." Now, in order to say something's gay, you would have to see three dudes walking in a line with their dick in in the the front guy's ass in front of them. Going, give me the cum. We want the cum. Then you can go, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be very fucking on the nose with it. <laughs> yeah, that's like, that. Like I butchered the joke or the variation of the joke that I was. No, no, no. I, yeah, I, I, I was, I, I get the I'm thing not going to say a joke and not give credit to the person who made up the joke. <laughs> yeah. I do it all the time. I'll say who it's from. I'll butcher it. I'll try say, to get the point yeah. out and I'll, be like, they said it way fucking good. I'll, I'll say a variation on the joke, like in, in the moment, in the spot, or try to, the best of my ability. But then be like, that, that joke came from this guy. Here's the actual line or the best that I can say it. Yeah. Still funny, though. My uh, teacher's always said to credit my sources, so. <laughs> No, I'm crazy. Apparently, Wikipedia uh, doesn't count. <laughs> um, so now we got cosmology. Oh Which shit! I, Were they testing it on dogs? I hope so. See, that's <laughs> what I, was, I was thinking of cosmetics when I fucking wrote it down, but it's a uh, this cosmology. <laughs> Cosmological section. We're thinking of cosmetology. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's <laughs> Cos- uh, cosmos. Is that what it? Cosmology is. Yeah, like it's actually about. So it was the first iteration of cosmos, and they were showing us all of these fucking different ways. So like to, space uh, shit. Cosmology? Yeah, to get her. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, but uh, these are actually the, the first workings of uh, cosmos, and they're telling us how to better our love life. <laughs> Um, oh my god! Through BJ's with their uh, boyfriends and old fashions, really grinding the gears, fucking elbow the sack. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a cosmological. Uh, it's a cosmological section, and um, yeah, they had drawings of nine medallions filled with stars and other shapes in these illustrations on the manuscript here. Hmm. I'm saying that really weird. Yeah, I'll you are. <laughs> <I'll see. laughs> I'll like, dude, I fucking <laughs> yeah. Th- thanks, Mike. That I, really helps. Just, yeah, you are. With this beer there. <laughs> um, yeah. So these designs uh, led some interpreters to believe they are uh, cosmological concepts. So cosmology is the study of the universe's origin, evolution, structure, and eventual fate. It covers topics like the Big Bang Theory and even the nature of dark matter and dark energy. God damn. You know, real CW hero type shit. Hell yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, in the CW shows, everything was fucking powered by dark matter. How'd the Flash get his powers? Dark matter and that lightning storm at fucking um, Star Labs. Everything was dark matter to this, dark matter it's to just, that. Is this just it, the it, Arrowverse or... Well, it could be with everything. I, I, I don't remember how the comics Barry Allen got his shit, but the Speed Force, I don't know. Maybe the Speed Force was with the same shit. Marvel Comics didn't have, like, a, as far as I know, a scapegoat with their shit. Now, you had mutations. You had different stuff. Um, Yeah, there was a, in the, well, it depends on which comics you're reading, because um, a lot of them are uh, science experiments where something went wrong being, uh, Pretty much all of Spider Man's fucking villains and Spider Man. Oh, with all the Destiny shit. Well, no, it's like uh, Spider Totem stuff. I like Spider Man up until like the Spider Totem shit. I guess is cool, but not. It's like a predestined thing. All these people are supposed to be bitten by a spider. 
I like the sense that it's it, it's a coincidence created a, a coincidence through chaos created. Well, it's it's like everything. Green Goblin uh, science experiment gone wrong. Doc Ock science experiment gone wrong. Vulture. Yeah. Oh was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same. You're right. It, it's all the same. Whatever. Same thing. I was a lot on, of them, and then like Spider-Man is on a fucking yeah, uh, a, a bigger scale. But yeah, no, it's all e- even Spider-Man. Spider-Man if you think about it, science experiment gone wrong because the fucking spider got. Yeah, it. you're right. Yeah. It, it seems like shitty storytelling at that point because uh, it's all the know. same. It, it's all different. It's, it's not just shitty. Be yeah. down to this one good thing storytelling. That. It's just yeah. the same blueprint. With and, and it, it, it's usually what it has shitty. to do is whatever villain or yeah. whatever hero you have, you, all the villains are made in a similar fashion because they're all oh. part of that world. Yeah, uh, not shitty, lazy, yeah. lazy storytelling. It, it is very lazy. I mean, uh, compelling none the same. A- with X Men, all, all like almost all of your enemies are also mutants. Yeah, yeah but so but that that one's a little easier when you when you go from a world of a bunch of people they were born that way rather yeah. than the same type of thing. Experiment gone wrong. Experiment gone wrong. Huh. Wrong. They decided. Gone wrong. Yeah, uh, there's. A world it's like of even people. Fantastic Four, the, the it space mission gone wrong. That way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. It's always the same shit. I heard the new uh, Fantastic Four thing is going to be put in an alternate uh, reality in the 1940s or 60s or some shit. I hope not, but also that that might work if you put the X Men and Fantastic Four in an alternate world because. How else would we explain that we had uh, mutants this whole time and less Scarlet Witch did the it, no more? They're going to be on a different Earth, and then uh, it's going to. And then it's all going to collide. Doctor, 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 Secret, yeah, Secret Doctor War. Strange ca- caused the collision, and um, and, and yeah. secret we're going to secret wars it kind of yeah. like the scene. And then, then so we're the going to have team ups from both with uh, villains and uh, and heroes. Like I hope since Kang is leaving, they get fucking Doctor Doom. Oh, dude, that's what people are hoping. Oh, uh, really? Nice. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's literally what everybody's Doctor hoping. Doom is like one reveal. of those enemies. He's like Lex Luthor, where however powerful their their enemy is, they will just get that powerful, no matter what. You yeah, know, they will they will build themselves up to do that. Yeah, and that's what uh, that's what people are hoping is that um, Doctor Doom is going to be taking the spot because he got rid of King. Or they're going to replace Kang with a different actor, which I don't think they should do because the Loki series, they they could have summed that up easily with that. It's not a good uh, ending for the Kang dynasty, but, I mean, what else can you do? We got used to this guy, regardless of who he was. Yeah. Um, he was very good with that role. Now, that's not saying, oh, re- keep him going. I'm just saying it's like, no, but, but maybe let's just let's just cut him off. Like right there, just yeah. cut him off, move to a different I mean, actor. It, it wouldn't be really Doom hard to replace forward. Jonathan Majors, uh, though. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, but I'm just saying, let's just like move on from it. I think Doom would be perfect, but also not introduce Doom until after the Fantastic Four movie comes out. Oh yeah, which I think is what they're gonna do anyway. But yeah, the the collision works fucking perfect. Where, where you uh, where you you do the um. Uh, the incursion shit and then mix them together. It's the same shit in Crisis on Infinite Earths and the CW shows. They yeah. crammed all those universes into one after Green Arrow died and they did all the, the fucking Spectre shit. Yeah. They they can easily do the same thing but on a uh, on a in a better way yeah. than the CW did. So Voynich. Oh yeah. So uh, <laughs> if I'm not uh, quick on it we'll if we'll keep going. Yeah, yeah, I know that's true because yeah, we're the, we're the worst people to leave alone together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so those who have uh, studied the Voynich manuscript have theorized some some of these illustrations can be a uh, uh, some of these illustrations. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> so those who have studied uh, study the Voynich manuscript have theorized some uh, some of these illustrations to be cosmological concepts like celestial bodies, astronomical phenomena, and possibly alchemical symbolism. Um, I fucking worded that really weird, or I'm reading it really weird right now. Uh, once again, though, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert on these subjects. Um, so to me, it feels like it goes with the astronomy and astrology, 
to a dumbass like myself, we'd label this all as fucking space shit, but it's more complicated than that. The codex features diagrams, charts, and drawings that look a lot like representations of celestial arrangements, hmm. planetary motions, and other cosmic-like things. Yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, there. I, th- I think I actually have some pictures. For I love that you said a dumbass like me who commonly call it space shit. When earlier, <laughs> I meant oh, cosmos like space shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, shit, I did. Did I already send these pictures? I think I did. Yeah, because this is the same fucking picture I sent before. I think. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, hey, yeah it know. is. So these, I meant to send these. Later, oh, yeah, I think. You, yeah, you already sent those, bro. Yeah, they they have fucking uh, all these. Yeah, okay. Sorry, sent those. It's a it's a weird. It's all star aligning shit. That's what it was. I don't know. I saved all these pictures. I don't know the fucking order. I didn't uh, do it in a, a, a whatever fashion there, but they. I don't know. They're kind of crazy looking. Yeah. This is the spiral stuff that we talked about earlier. Nah, that's what he sent again. I guess that's where uh, that's where they belong right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, actually, you know what? But I I do have a bunch of other. That's all I had for um those. Th- I I have some other stuff too. But these pictures here. Nah, I, I got a bunch of fucking. I got a bunch of funny ass pictures here. Actually, I got a I got a picture montage going here. These are some of the other fucking pictures I had that I didn't just put in while we were doing it. Uh, <laughs> the fuck is this person like? Dude, <laughs> okay, so throwing, in, person? throwing shit into a tube system that looks like it's made out of crocodile. That's what I was like. What the fuck is this picture? These are what I yeah. So these pictures here, I was like, what the fuck? I saved some weird ass shit, but yeah, she's just like sticking her hands in there. What is it doing? It's it's air drying it or sucking shit out. That one right next to her boob looks like it's air drying her under tit. I don't understand what's going on there. And then we yeah, got the next like a bunch of like Doctor Seuss machines, dude. It, it really does. does. <laughs> That's all like ru- like weird fucking cartoony Rube Goldberg machines where it's like it leads to nothing. What are these women doing? The next one where you have the two women left to right who have their arms in the little dude, this uh, one with the the f- a bunch of like weird flower looking things and then the cakes. <laughs> There's cakes on on the left. Looks like like fucking wedding cakes or some shit. Oh, the f- <laughs> yeah, it's it's fucking oh man. Some of the yeah, that's what I was like. Some of these are weird as fuck. They are. I don't know. They're all weird as fuck. <laughs> Some. Yeah, I mean, I get. Yeah, they are. This one fucking uh, I thought was weird because this weird tube, the woman who's standing in the thing and she has her arm in the weird tube and it's moving down like a fucking intestines and yeah. going down and showering the fuck is that about i do not know or this other one that looks like a bunch of women going down at a fucking um it has all the words and it's in the middle of the thing it looks like people going down at a a water slide park yeah in the middle of the fucking words and then there's other women down that yeah i don't know it's a bunch of fucking weird shit it's all weird i actually i i like this one um I think it's the second to the last one I sent. It's a bunch of words, and it looks like women that are like moshing in a puddle. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I thought they were just laying in a field, but you know. Yeah, I th- I only think it's a puddle because that one picture, all that water was moving down where that. Yeah, log why is was. all the water green? Oh, blue was like a, a a pigment that wasn't found for a long time. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's crazy. Blue pigment, like when it was found, like blue and purple pigment when it was found was really expensive. Mm, that makes sense then. So this guy's probably making pigment out of just plants and shit around him with chlorophyll and stuff. So It's crazy because you think about it, it's parchment. That shit's not fucking easy to come up. 
come across like that. Like you have over 200 and what, whatever pages I said earlier of parchment paper that you put together and did all these drawings and weird shit. That's a weird thing to put together <laughs> if it didn't fucking mean something. <laughs> Unless there was some rich asshole or someone who got his hands on all of this fucking shit and was just like, hell yeah, dude. Animal skin? Fuck yeah. Give me those fucking yeah. great ass paints. We ain't got no blue? Fuck no, dude. I don't care, man. Green works. Green's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now, as I said, uh, probably a thousand times before, no one has ever truly deciphered the uh, Voynich manuscript, but there are many theories. So, y'all ready for, for some theories right now? Let's do this. <laughs> uh, the Voynich manuscript is a hoax. Now, this one seems far-fetched to the amount of pages and parchment used, like I was saying. Makes no fucking sense. Uh, to create this beautiful son of a bitch hmm. out of everything. But uh, one theory goes that Voynich himself created the manuscript to sell for a large fortune. He himself priced it at around $100,000 estimated. I don't know what year that was estimated. <laughs> I'd price it at that too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants this? Man, I just found this shit. I don't know, man. That's parchment. <laughs> Dude, if <laughs> someone would buy it, I would... Like be like, who wants this hair tied? Three thousand dollars. Man, man, look at all those parts of me. Yeah, and I'll parts for that money. So give me that. He uh, priced it himself at a hundred thousand dollars. Like, no yeah, it's why he, yeah. See, the, uh, this did, it sell, is, did it sell for that? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know if he sold it or what. It, so um, yeah, I I priced my my shitty car at uh, two million. Was, it's like, did it sell for that though? No. <laughs> He did this whole long journey on figuring out what it was. Uh, the theory is very unpopular because, uh, I mean, he pushed for Roger Bakeman to be the one. And I didn't write all this shit down. I should have. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I uh, didn't write anything uh, down if that helps. <laughs> to be oh, fair, it switched. I, I probably should write the last something minute. Down, Like, uh, I, I, I switched at the last minute. And last minute means like four hours. But um, he believed that Roger Bacon or Albertus Magnus wrote the manuscript. He just seemed to push these theories hardcore, so people um, uh, people didn't really believe whatever. Because he he spent a long time trying to figure out. I read one thing that he believed it was somebody. I don't know if it was one of these two or a different person. Because apparently, you could read in a sleeve pocket of the manuscript or something weird with an ultraviolet light. It said somebody's name, but I don't mm. know if any of that's true. <laughs> I didn't write it down. Cause it seemed too fucking, um, national treasure. Like for me to write down property uh, of Adolf Hitler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no money. You got kicked out of art school. No, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These aren't fucking, these women look like Teletubbies <laughs> and fucking baskets. We're not okay with this. Yeah. Right, right down like, well, here. I can also it's draw German shepherds and say, like, we don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck, dude. You have a better luck uh, persecuting entire people for the religious belief. And he's like, really? <laughs> That's oddly specific. <laughs> That's oddly specific, but I'll aim for that goal. Uh, number two, aliens wrote it. Though not a widely accepted theory or even a popular one that. I don't, I don't. I don't think so because, like, if you look at it, it looks like it's it's based off of human languages, dude. It looks like fucking elfish. It really does. It really does. It looks like a, a nerd wrote it. Yeah, uh, it looks like the shit that's written on the One Ring, man. And we and we should know we can smell our own kind. Yeah, <laughs> dude. You ever heard the theory that uh, Tolkien uh, based his books off of? Uh, ancient civilization, like it used to, what used to be England and stuff. Uh, what if, like, he based the fucking elfish off of texts that he found? If that that it, if that conspiracy theory is true, and this is like a book that survived. I just recently read something. I can't remember what it was, but somebody had something on George R. R. Martin shit. Jesus, now I can't remember what it was. Be, only because we were talking about Tolkien that I was yeah. thinking about. Yeah. 
Martin yeah. because I think he tried to steal some of that fucking some of that riz, as the kids would say. Oh, dude, he he uh he gives Tolkien the credit that's deserved. He he's often says that Tolkien's a huge inspiration on him. So, oh, I was only saying by the yeah. name itself. Oh, but I, guess, yeah, I mean, if you're paying homage, yeah, he, he says deal. that. It, like he said that Tolkien's a big inspiration, so he probably has named something off of a Tolkien character as a tribute. You know. I was just saying because the uh, the George R. R. Martin or what the R. R. or whatever the fuck it oh, is. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're paying homage to homage, somebody, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a different thing. Ask fucking Jay Z because he's took so many lines and songs and people have accused him for, and he always says I'm paying homage to him, and it's like maybe he is, but he didn't state it until after he gets fucking called out. Yeah, or back in the day. I but but then it. again, it's like in a lot of stuff that i do i reference uh things that i'm into things that i'm a fan of like in in uh in in music and shit in a lot of music especially like fucking look at wu-tang dude yeah look at all look at all the shit they reference like comics and movies and fucking shit you know yeah that's true i guess if I guess I, in, I, I think it, it, stuff it, at, at the time, it's like you should be able to recognize the references. When yeah. It makes it, because people do shit like that because rappers will go. So, uh, I, I, th- I think it's, it's different. A cop, which is a homage that I yeah. can't think of who it is, but God damn it. I, I think it's or different whoop, when you're whoop, in the same the medium. The police. Like, I think it's different when you're in the same medium. Um because then people think you're you're plagiarizing or whatever. But if you're in a different medium and you're paying homage to it, you know. Yeah, it might be different. Yeah, I, th- I feel like that that has something to do with whether someone thinks you're doing that or not. Um, y- you know what I mean? It's uh, yeah. So I mean, it might not. I don't know. Um. So uh, yeah, the the alien thing. I I don't really believe either. Um. People try to say that because of all the ast- astro- uh, like, astrological concepts and uh, cosmological yeah. one. It, I mean, it, it, uh, it would make sense if it was alien, if aliens did uh, were proven to have a large inspiration in how our language and written language was formed. But um, yeah, and, and then, yeah, it, it just it's just weird for them to use part you, of it. You know, the, the chicken or the egg right there, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's weird for them to purchase parchment play paper do it and then just drop it by accident like hey, i'm gonna write like the the primitives do it i don't know back to the primitive yo <laughs> there's a there's a lot of discussions on core and reddit i didn't write down any of them but um a lot of, there's people that think that uh the alien it's a prediction of the end of the world the, the coming apocalypse which, well if which i ever start problem. seeing like naked women fucking with tubes and shit I don't mean like fucking. I mean like for some reason pouring water down tubes in like a ladder formation, and it looks like a Doctor Seuss <laughs> machine. Uh, <laughs> then I'll be like, "Oh, the end is nigh." But <laughs> that, that picture was my favorite one. I was trying to find the funniest ones, and some of those are very fucking funny. Yeah, and yeah. I can't even think of the jokes I thought of when I had them because they, I've been drinking. But <laughs> that fucking one in particularly is so funny because it's just like. All these people are like bathing. It seems like like ah, or testing the waters. I don't fucking know. But the guy at the bottom is just like ah, Cambodian breasts. Tur- <laughs> turns out that like the water wa- wa- was not it's not water. It- it's green because it's it's not water. It's just slime. They're all being slimed. It's that Nickelodeon gack. Yeah. Here we go. Quiet on set. Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so next one up, box.com has an article about, about, um, some of these, uh, theories with a few notable theories being from Gordon Rugg, a computer scientist who thinks the whole thing was just a hoax. And the reason it can't be deciphered is because there's nothing there to decipher, Hmm. which, uh, which would make sense, I guess, but then again, nobody could do the um, the zodiac for a while. Didn't they decipher it recently, though? Uh, the zodiac, they, they deciphered some stuff. I think there's yeah. still stuff that's not deciphered. This one, they, there's so many claims of people saying they deciphered certain parts of being a certain part of a certain country, but none of it has ever been 
fucking verified. Um, this one's fun. This is also from Fox. Uh, Vox.com. Uh, Andreas Schinner, or Skinner, I don't know. A physicist who thinks that a manuscript was written by an autistic monk who subconsciously followed a strange mathematical algorithm in his head. I could see that. That's the month that, part of that. <laughs> that seems plausible, right there. <laughs> He's just, just like a, just, just Rain Man out there, like, oh shit, oh shit. And the women on the top of the pump, the, the top of the pump, the top of the pump, the, the, the top of the pump. <laughs> no, but like yeah, to the, just, the bottom, uh, the like a bottom yeah, of the pump, like green an artistic green savant, green you know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> It's fucked up, but it's yeah. Uh, I I can believe that. That one is believable. That one's more plausible than I think. Uh, than I think Voynich creating it himself because he was trying to push all these other theories. But uh, yeah, he even got a partner on it. But yeah, <laughs> turns out he's uh, pushing every one of them. But that one, he's like, I'm not fucking autistic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not autistic. All right, when I wrote it, I mean, when whoever wrote it. All right? <laughs> Uh, allocation.com says one theory is that the book was made by Leonardo da Vinci as a child saying that he would have had the wealth and talent to create something with such materials it said that this is the reason the pictures are childlike even though they are made with expensive paints and pigments so that was the thing what about like, the writing that's not childlike yeah that child yeah that's not I mean because... I have seen children that have better handwriting than me, than me but god damn that, that's like some very yeah. good handwriting. That is like uh, Donnie from Wild Thornberries, as I so eloquently put it earlier, uh, had magnificent writing in some kind of language. He's like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's what the handwriting itself, if it was just like a picture book, it would have been different because th that yeah, could have been yeah. some shit that he tried to make in his early days. Like, this is going to solve our water issue. We just re re repurpose all the water, and the guy at the bottom is the one that likes fucking filth the most. That's yucky. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's making soup. Oh, God. Why do you say such things? <laughs> oh god i talked about case is oh. gonna be pissed this is gonna be like 90 so, minute, 90 uh, minutes long <laughs> um there's another interesting one from allocation.com and is also believed to be a hoax like another hoax one but this is my favorite one by far actually so this one tells of edward kelly a known con man and forger allegedly he lost an ear as a punishment for these acts but Edward Kelly was an alchemist who claimed he could make gold. Makes him seem like Rumpelstiltskin. Well, no, the the woman who claimed she could spin gold. Nah, it doesn't matter, dude. Fuck that story. Rudolph the Second summoned him and sponsored the sciences and was a magic enthusiast. Old Eddie Kelly here claimed he had been in contact with angels and knew of their special angel language. Kelly would be in a trance during a seance and his partner John D would jot down everything said in the angelic language. Uh, this partnership ended uh, ended though when Edward claimed the angels told him that he and John D had to swap wives. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he's been uh, thought of as the creator of Voynich Manuscript for a long time. This guy deserves his own podcast. Like his own one-off. At least from us. I, I might have uh, missed details because that seemed kind of abrupt. I think I, I missed writing something. Dude, I was so cracked out on cra uh, caffeine when I wrote this shit. I, I hope it wasn't too abrupt it, or brief, you know, when they swapped wives. Well, brief? Yeah, the, the swapped wives. The gold part didn't seem to transition well. Maybe he was hired once by uh, King Rudolph is why he cut off his ear. God, I, I think I cut that off ab uh, abruptly. I wrote that weird... I can't even remember writing it. And I wrote this ooh, six hours ago. Um, that's funny as fuck, though. It's like his partner just left him because he was like, no, do the angels say we got to swap wives? No, nah, dude, <laughs> fuck you. That's not a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I had for those. Uh, all fun theories. But, you know, like I said before, Voynich, the Voynich manuscript has never truly been deciphered. And 
and uh, it now lives at Yale. So it's at Yale, where it's uh, d- uh, visited this day by medievalists and cryptologists alike, still attempting to crack the naughty little language. <laughs> so it, yeah, it, it's it's at Yale now, um, and people still yearly visit to try to see if they can crack the code. There is a fat ass list of people. And I didn't write any of them down, but it, a lot of like modern whatever, but none of it can be verified. Of people saying, "Oh, it's ancient Germanic," or it is part of a a Jewish translate to uh, something that is uh, part of a something. Like they they hmm. they keep trying to say it's partly whatever, or every other line is a, a, a Polish fucking something. And it leads into this, and they try to say they translate these lines, but nobody takes it serious because, to them, it doesn't lead into anything. They might not. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it just there's this fat line you can click on the links, and it'll go to what they believe is a uh, is how it's ciphered out. I don't want to click on too many things because I don't want to get a virus on my phone. If I'm going to do that, that's it's smart. Be, that's going to be from <laughs> Aubrey Amputine takes anal for the first time. Amputee, not amputine. <laughs> I put it in. I put it in there by accident. That was a made up thing. I don't think there's an Aubrey Amputee. Maybe there is. Now I'm going to have to Google search that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all I had on the this topic. I thought it was an interesting. Thing. This is an interesting one. I. Uh... The yeah, picture, the one interesting. I can believe the uh, just the fact that someone could have created their own language. Someone could have been super into like uh, cryptography. I think it's called. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. The making of codes and stuff like that, and could have just w- went ham on it, just like the Zodiac did. And the Zodiac thing didn't get you know found out for quite a while either. Yeah, uh, and they've not they've nearly matched. as long as hundreds of years though. Um, yeah, see, they they've matched modern AI shit. To- to it and they can't even get a single decipher out of a single word so that's why they think yeah. it might be a hope but i mean you never know it could be a, a dead language that was never discovered yeah. Like, and completely. It, yeah an ancient civilization type thing a dead language something like that it could also be um you said like why would someone go through this much trouble or something like that and be like dude i've seen s- some people troll the fuck out of people and put so much work into it Oh, dude! I, oh, I this could people. just yeah, this could just be a fucking <laughs> troll. It could be honestly, like someone made this thing for like a professor of theirs or some shit like that. I was like, dude, check this out. It's ancient, you know. I just yeah, trolled I the mean, fuck out of him. Honestly, it could. Uh, one one thing that I read, it, this could have been a fucking like uh, code book between like a group of guys that was just drawing naughty pictures. Yeah, some of the entries, like like I was saying, it sounded like a joke, but some people think that it might have been fucking a uh, recipe, fucking things for all sorts of different shit. Yeah, cooking al- alchemical stuff, like little medicine, medicinal things. But then there's all the astronomy shit. And all That's that. something um, like I have to look at closer again to see if all the ma- handwriting looks the same, because this could have been a group of people. You it could have, um, which is why it doesn't make too much sense. They could all just be adding their own shit in their own codes that Dude, they would, all made would, up separately. You know, it's, I don't know. It could be weird shit. It could be I why would AI for, wouldn't work. Yeah. I would love for a podcast like group to be able to go to fucking Yale and go and look at this like in person. It would just be cool. I, th- I think it'd be That's cool to just go to a lot of museums and stuff as our, as a group and look at interesting things like, yeah. Instead of having to read it all online. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, those were my thoughts. Like, it, it's yeah. just that it, it, it could be a, a good number of things. Um, it, it I think honestly, it was probably someone either highly could, intel- intelligent or unintelligent. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's um alien in nature or uh divine in nature, right. as our uh, friend Edward over here was putting it. Although, I need to look deeply into this guy and it would be hilarious just to do a podcast about this man um i think honestly it w- it could have been made by multiple people like it was just a manuscript of, of things that they've heard or seen or a group of people a, a, a civilization this could have been the ancient language of the atlanteans or lemurians 
Oh, dude, that would have been cool if it was just a, a depiction of them. It was like the King James version of something they seen of that, but but also a language that nobody yeah. could. Fucking but then understand. again, the, I think it's the the carbon dating on it is too too recent. Yeah, uh, f- uh, fucking, god damn it, fifth fifth century, second century, a uh, second century, <laughs> uh, second century BC, and. Uh, they because of the the, the stylistic um, the stylistic fucking uh, there was a stylistic analysis. Jesus Christ, I cannot think straight. I'm half awake. Uh, that makes it look like it was done during the uh, uh, the Italian Renaissance. So it looks like it was yeah. Done but if the carbon dating period. is before that, then yeah, that's true. I I don't know. I mean, they, some, I don't know how how. Uh, much they carbon dated it but like maybe if like the ink was from later but the material that it was that was they used the ink on was from a long long, long way back you know and just very well preserved i don't fucking know i want to know about the missing pages <laughs> that's where the don't. good shit is that's what the good ass shit was. Their predictions of our fucking timeline, and it's a fucking. It, it predicts how our uh, dem- uh, democracy. Uh, <laughs> in 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 and it, it just shows- says, don't trust P Diddy. It's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and it shows a donkey and an elephant sixty nine ing each other. <laughs> this is how it ends. <laughs> the left and right become a center, and the whole world burns. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm pretty sure everyone's getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> There's a turtle in the background jerking off in a cuckold fashion, just behind some fucking plant leaves. <laughs> slowly eating the fucking leaves. You see Matthew's fucking, because he does this a lot. Uh, he keeps putting the fucking the the turtle jizz face yeah. in the turtle. He did that like, I don't know why. Fan chat today. Yeah, so fucking he keeps doing it in our Snapchat chat too and he was like i don't know why he keeps doing that and then i wrote and he never responded or something like that yeah i was like maybe it means come slow or uh uh, don't come fast or something like that i can't remember but i was like come slowly or yeah it's like don't come fast i actually think is what it was well we we, we gotta wrap this up because i got seven percent on my computer battery yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) Yeah. computer uh, battery so i gotta like save this Ignore all the come tortoise stuff. I, I, I think we covered this very well. I uh, think so. This was, good, that was a good one. I enjoyed this. It was. I, and I think all these pictures, I'm looking at the pictures now, and it makes me want the entire book just to flip through the pictures. <laughs> I want a picture book of this. This that, one with the yeah. plants particularly looks weird because some of it, I know there's supposed to be plants, but one looks like a headless dog to me. And you can, you can probably f- uh, find it somewhere, a reprinting of it. Probably so. A lot of these yeah. plants look like animals. This one looks like a headless wiener dog, and I want that as my background now. Oh, oh no, wait, my bad. It looks like it has a fucking uh, a, a skin fork as its head. Ew, that's weird. I don't like this. Yeah. Never mind. It's well, kind of creepy a little bit. I, I, I think that was good. Yeah. Have a good, good week, y'all. See you next week. Oh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in with the Conspiracy Outposts and the Conspiracy uh, Compadres. Yes.